Hi everyone, my name is John Alexis Guerra Gomez and this is a little introduction to my data visualization or information visualization or visual analytics course. <laughs> it has had many names uh, over the years, but the content keeps on being awesome. <laughs> and it's basically a course where you can learn how to extract insights out of complex data uh, problems. So in this course, we use Tamara Monsner's uh, visualization, analysis, and design uh, book um, to actually create a framework or use a framework that allows you to extract what data you want to visualize, why you want to visualize it, or the different tasks, and then the actual way of uh, how to create those visualizations. We go from a basic introduction where you learn to extract um, data, tasks, users, and then reasons for actually creating these uh, visualizations and learning step by step how to actually extract those insights. We first focus on the data and the different types of data sets that are in there and the different types of attributes, um, including networks, trees, maps, or even tables or multidimensional data and attributes depending if they are quantitative or categorical. Then we learn some basic rules of thumb on how we can create these visualizations, what things to avoid, what things to, to prefer, the different principles of expressivity or uh, effectiveness on how to choose the different marks and channels that are going to be the ones that you can use for visualizing your stuff. So um, then we go into the different types of data sets, starting first with how to arrange tables or distribute tables on screen how to create visualizations for temporal data. That is one that is not covered that much in the book that, uh, that uh, we focus a lot in, in the class. Then networks, trees, and finally some advanced concepts. This is a very project-based uh, class. We have four to five different homeworks in which you are going to be extracting um, insights from real world data sets and then a class group project where um, that it's usually in groups of two or three people where you're going to be developing something more um, um, through that will allow you to extract um, insights again from, from a common project uh, among your peers. There are also many videos and lectures that I have pre-recorded in the past from different iterations of the course, especially this uh, playlist that you can find in here will give you more than, I think it will in almost 80 videos on how to go from these technical and theoretical uh, concepts to actual implementations in, in D3, Vegalite API, and Tableau. So feel free to check those out. And then finally, for ideas or the different types of projects people built on this, always check the homework submissions for uh, each one of the semesters. Here are some of the ones of the current semester when I'm teaching this. And then if you go to my website, that is johnguerra.co, just go to the classes link and then you're going to have different iterations of that in the past. For instance, here is um, some of the versions that I have taught it at UC Berkeley or when I was teaching in it and visual analytics as visual analytics in Los Andes. And then you're always going to find different projects that are going to help you as inspiration and knowing what are the type of things that we do develop in this class. So this is one of my favorite classes. It includes many different uh, concepts and it focuses on this idea of extracting insights. So if you are interested and are willing to spend a lot of hours and working on these concepts and mastering these skills, I guarantee you that you're going to come up uh, with many different things that you can use in um, your professional career and you're going to have a lot of fun. So if you have more questions, let me know. You can always find more information about it, as I mentioned, on my website or even how to contact me at johnguerra.co. And I'm looking forward to having you in my course.